What I've tried to do here is to give you an idea of what the balance sheets look like uh, for, for both the operating fund, the replacement fund, and in total uh, at the end of the year. Uh, keeping in mind that when we get to December 31st, uh, we will have billed uh, the dues for the assessment, I should say, for 2011. And probably close to 80%, 75% of those will be collected before December 31st. And so uh, that's what this 2 million three is. And of course, if that's all sitting there, then this cash line is increased. Looking at the replacement fund for a moment, then uh, the, uh, at the end of the year, we're expecting that we'll have about two and a half million. Uh, there's the excess of the 207 I alluded to earlier. <coughs> and so we're gonna be sitting at the end of the year when the audit report is done with about $5.8 million in assets, most of which is gonna be sitting in cash uh, and investments. If we look at 2011, uh, Using those budgeted numbers and assuming we spend every, every uh, dollar of uh, expense and every, collect every dollar of revenue, these would be the ending numbers uh, for next year at the end of December. Uh, seeing somewhere close to about $6 million in total assets. Uh, all in all, the association uh, is, is in strong financial position. There really isn't uh, any significant uh, issues at this point. We've been very fortunate with assessments, only to have handfuls of residents that are having financial difficulty. And, uh, and so I think we're in good shape. One thing I do wanna cover with you is the next slide, and then I'll go back and get the, get the uh, uh, motion that uh, the Finance Committee uh, authorized back in, on Thursday. This is a, a slide that uh, <clears throat> depicts where the reserve advisors study uh, has predicated for the next 30 years. Uh, I gave you the first couple years here because they're the most relevant uh, as to where we are at in that funding schedule. At the beginning of this year, the study indicated we needed about $2,350,000 uh, and we had uh, 2,330,000 for the starting block, okay? So we were <coughs> close. It recommended that we, we have reserve contributions, and this is contributions from the non-HOA communities plus the resale fees, uh, about 295,000. Uh, we're gonna be a little bit short of that. Uh, and then interest income, we know we're gonna be short of this number, okay? Uh, and then th they anticipated that we would spend 114,000, leaving a reserve at the end of the year of just short of 2 million six. Now, we're gonna end up, we, we believe at this point, that we're gonna have about 2 million 537, so we're gonna be about $50,000 short. Uh, the reason we're short is very simply, we didn't earn enough interest. And, but we've compensated for that a little bit because we've not spent what we thought we were going to spend. Right? We've kind of pushed it off to the future. So then when you look at 2011, we take their same assumptions and we look at where we're going to be at the end of next year, you're going to see that there's a shortfall of about $193,000. Right? Now next year, we're going to have reserve advisors in and go on a two-year cycle. They were here in 07. They were here in 09, they'll be here in 11 to update their study. And then we're going to be working with a small team of people on, on asphalt aspect, the roads, uh, to make sure that we all understand when the roads have to be replaced. Because this fund, the biggest kick in this fund is roads, bridges, and lights. Those are the, those are the three big items that we're funding for down the road. Right now, when the community is about 12 years old, things aren't looking too bad, okay? But down the road, those roads are gonna to need to be fixed. Somewhere along the line, 
and maybe none of us are going to be sitting in this room talking about it. Right? But we have to plan for it. And that's the whole point of this replacement study. It's a planning document. It might seem like, Josh, there's a lot of money sitting there, but it is, it is designated and it's allocated for a specific purpose. I don't think, I personally, I'll give you my personal opinion, I don't get too alarmed with this, but I don't like to see it get much bigger. I think we need to make some dent in that number because the resale market has only got so much expansion to it. We set that rate at $2,500. I think that's probably a good ceiling number. So then it means how many houses can we sell to generate that revenue? And if you take a rule of thumb of about 7% or 8% of the community will turn over every year, that turns out to be something close to 110 to 120 homes. And you can do the math, okay? Doesn't take much to do it. Multiply it by 2,500, and that's the source of revenue. It's the biggest source of revenue outside of the 1,481 of us. But we do have to keep our eye on the ball here so that this number doesn't get too far out of whack. That kind of gives you a little synopsis of where we're at. I don't think there's anything to get alarmed with. I think we're in pretty good shape. We just need to keep focused. So with that said, Last Thursday at the Finance Committee meeting, uh, we reviewed this whole uh, budget for next year, and the Finance Committee recommends approval of that operating and replacement budget as presented. So I make that motion.